Let's talk a bit about um, multiculturalism and her declaration that it's been a failure. And other people might, you know, consider that if you look at the cabinet, if you look at the government, if you look at the opposition, and you look at the array of cultures and ethnicities and, and representations from all different sorts of families and backgrounds, you can see multiculturalism flourishing in our own House of Commons and in the House of Lords. They might say that they're kind of living embodiments of how magnificently yeah. it's worked, or do you disagree? No, I literally don't understand what she thinks she means. If mm. uh, I mean, if if multiculturalism has failed, what does successful multiculturalism look like? She is a product of extremely successful multiculturalism. As are you and I, Vanessa. Yeah, you know, we, we are we are we are de descended from people who who immigrated into this country, and we have we have integrated with this country. As to she, that is the Brit the British model of of immigration of of multiculturalism is one of the most successful in the world. We don't have the same routine ghettoization that you have in France, even in the United States. Mm -hmm. You know, we have a much more integrated system as the very top tier of our government, of which she is a part. I mean, I'll shows. give you the actual line. She says, um, multiculturalism has failed. She says, it has allowed people to come to our society and live parallel lives in it. She says, you can see it play out from Malmo to Paris, Brussels to Leicester. Uh, and that's what she said in Washington, D.C., uh, before she went on to question whether the UN's 1951 Refugee Convention is fit for our modern age. Let's ask Dr. Chelvin about multiculturalism. As far as you're concerned, has it been a failure? Well, we've got the Prime Minister who went to Delhi only for the G20 conference and talked about how proud he is to be a Hindu and how Hinduism drives um, his life. I was a first generation migrant myself. I mean, I, I'm living here in London. Mod multiculturalism is very much thriving. Um, I think that the link to patriotism and nationalism not being something which should be negative is, is clearly concerning. Now, as a refugee lawyer, you know, 90% of that speech wasn't relevant to the work I do or the, the refugees I, I, I represent. It was an ideologue. It's about migration. Uh, the, the statistics were incorrect. The references to 180,000 illegal migrants in 2018, that's incorrect. The law was only changed on the 28th of June 2022 regarding illegal arrivals. The reference to the Refugee Convention, Article 1, well, that's supplanted and amended by the 1967 Protocol. All the reference points to Article 31. I mean, that's why I'm saying she, she failed on the law, she failed on the accuracy. This is purely uh, a, a preparation speech for some sort of right wing uh, I, agenda a program for what could prove um, her, her political drive. Nothing to do with real life circumstances. And as Hugo said, we've got 175,000 in the backlog. The reason why we're spending millions of pounds a day in hotel accommodation is that they're not making the decisions. The system is broken.